Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Adib, and your question is, what exactly we need to score more than 110 on the TOEFL IBT? I really need your help, guys. Good question. You need a whole lot of English if you want to get 110. I'm going to tell you that right now. Most people who score 110 have done this. Most of the students who score above 110, they have been using English since they were eight or nine years of age. They've been speaking it, they've been reading it, they've been listening to it, they've been doing this for 10 or 12 or more years. That's really the main thing is you need a long-term exposure to the English language in order to get that 110. Now, what if you haven't done that? Is it possible for you to get 110 even if you have been using English for 10 or 12 years? I'm going to say it's possible but not likely. However, Adi, maybe as you've been uh, uh, at my website, you probably know that my course has about 630 different lessons. I have vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar lessons. I have listening and reading lessons, even speaking and writing lessons. So think of it this way. Uh, my website is a space for you to work on your academic English proficiency. The more time you spend at my site, the longer you spend, obviously your score is going to get higher. Uh, the one thing that I've noticed about most of my students, Adib, is they usually increase their score about 5 to 10 points for each month that they use my course. So let's say your, your TOEFL score right now is 80. If you want to get a score of 100, you're probably looking at approximately three or four months for you to reach that goal. Now, you know, it sounds like a long time, and it does take a lot of effort, but think about how proud you'll be four months from now if you do get that 100. Wouldn't that be great? All right, anyway, thank you very much. Uh, maybe one other thing I'll, I'll, I'll point out with the scoring higher than 110 is uh, a lot of listening, if you watch or listen to talk radio on the uh, like uh, AM or a FM or AM radio stations, uh, we also have CNN, we have Fox News, we have uh, other types of documentary and history channels. Science t television is very good practice for TOEFL. So you want to do a, a lot of practice with reading and also with listening over several months. And as you're doing both of those things, try to develop a good note-taking system where you can begin taking notes on the main points and the most important supporting points of what you're listening to and what you're reading. And little by little, you will begin to increase your overall English proficiency and ultimately, your TOEFL score will get better. All right, Adib, now the last thing I want to say is if the time is right for you and if you like my course, if you want to give it a shot, I'd love to have you as one of my students. It's very easy. You just go back to the website where you found me. You click on join and then you create your PayPal account. At that point, I will send you a username and a password so that you can begin your lessons today. All right. Thank you.